I'm Robin Higgins, and this is How to Identify the Chemistry of Hydrogen Ions. Okay, so hydrogen normally has one electron, um, but it actually is very willing to give up that electron. And so a lot of the time you'll see it under situations where it has given it up and is now positively charged. And so let's look at two examples this is the case. The first is hydrochloric acid. So in this molecule, you have a hydrogen and a chlorine. And if you look at the different electronegativities, hydrogen is extremely electropositive. It wants to go up that electron. And chlorine is all the way on the right-hand side of the periodic table. And it's extremely electronegative. It wants to get more electrons and hold on to the ones that it has. And that's because of the octet rule. So each atom wants to have a full, uh, like, last valence shell. And so if hydrogen gives up its one electron, it'll have none, which means that it won't have an odd number of electrons in its shell. And chlorine, if it gets one, it'll have eight, because it has seven uh, naturally. So it really wants to get that one. So that's why this is a good molecule. And so what happens in actuality is that this is an ionic bond, which means that hydrogen is positively charged and chlorine is negatively charged. And so this has no electrons, and then chlorine has eight. So generally, if there's something that's electronegative enough, uh, hydrogen ions will up here because uh, what's ever electronegative will take away its electron. So let's look at one more example of hydrogen. So this is an oxygen with two hydrogen molecule, with two hydrogen atoms. Uh, you could abbreviate it as H2O. You might know it as water. And so oxygen isn't quite as electronegative as chlorine, but it's still is electronegative way more than hydrogen, and so it really wants to take an unfair portion of this bond, which is made of two electrons. So oxygen is partially negative, and both of these hydrogens are partially positive. And so in actuality, these hydrogens just don't have their fair share of the bond, even though it is covalent and they're completely sharing them. So if you drew an electron density map, it'd be more like this, where hydrogen doesn't get that much and oxygen gets a lot. And so if you ever want to compare uh, what's going to take electrons versus what's going to give them up, it's a good general trend to know about the periodic table that electronegativity works like this. So beside from the noble gases, which is the last column, uh, Electronegativity works uh, going from the bottom left and going increasing to the top right. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemistry of hydrogen ions. Mm -hmm.